Hello and welcome to today's virtual card in a cuppa. Um, I have to admit I don't have a, cu a, cu a cup with me today, well a, a cup of tea, but I do have a, a glass of squash. Um, but let me just quickly check that this is going out live. Um, so this is the first card and a cuppa that I've done since, um, since our summer break. Uh, we took a, a break in August because uh, where we where we usually go and, and do the um, the live event, um, it gets kind of taken over with small people. So um, doing all sorts of fun things. So it's a lot easier just to keep away from it. Plus the fact the road was being dug up and all sorts of crazy things like that. But hey, anyway. So we had fun this morning, and so I'm going to share with you this afternoon the three cards I took with me, plus I'm going to make a fourth one live. But before I do, I want to quickly say hooray! Um, so the mini catalogue went live today. So this is the September to December mini catalogue. Um, it's uh, as Products will be available from today until, let's have to remember now, because it says on the back of here, somewhere... Uh, 6th of January. Um, obviously, subject to the, it being in stock, of course. So I can actually share not only the front, which is what I did last week, but I can share the middle and the contents as well. And there are some really sweet things in here. And I do not intend to go all the way through this. I just actually wanted to pick out the um, sweet that is being used or has been used to create the kits and also the um, the cards and the stamps and things. So this is what the um, kits were made of. So there are some die cuts and there's paper and there's also all sorts of bits and pieces. So you'll find the Nests of Winter collection on page 31 and then there's some examples on page 30. Um, uh, so that's all I'm going to say about that at the moment in the catalogue. I'll share with you quickly the kit that everybody had. Um, and I've just taken one out of an envelope and I realised that actually um, I didn't um, start actually taking this out. So this is one of the dies. So there is a, this is a copper clay. So there is that. There is a rather sweet little bird um, from one of the sheets of paper. Um, so everybody was supposed to be fussy cutting those out. Piece of basic white stamp sentiment. Um, a rather lovely piece of design from, this is called Nests of Nature from memory. She says, let's never going to get it yet. Yeah, Nests of Winter, sorry. Um, and this is one of those sheets where you have them top and bottom so you can actually create um, card fronts really, really quickly. Um, I love this and I'll show you what the full sheet looks like in a minute. Uh, we've got a copper clay base card. We've got a piece of basic white to go on the inside. Strip for the inside. A strip of paper. And obviously an envelope. So that's the, the, um, the kit that everybody had quickly show you. this is the sheet of paper that I um, quickly cut roughly cut out some of the birds they're very very sweet so um, some people had this dove looking to the left um, some people had let's see if you can remember now there was another one um, oh, that's one to the left and then the other one was this little one um, which I'm never, I don't know what it is. I mean, it kind of looks like a sparrow. That's what we have sparrows here in the UK. So um, so everybody got a, a bird to fussy cut. So there's these birds. There are also these birds, which are larger. Um, so they're all, they, these are all sitting on like branches with berries, whereas these are sort of more sort of fronds and things. We have rather sweet wood scene where you've got different birds sitting in trees and on branches and things. We have 
one that has like I always think it looks like pussy willows to me but and these are these are just the pattern size then we have some more birds so we have blue tits we've got a robin so there are some birds here that here in the UK uh, small looks more like a cold tit these two so we've got cold tits we've got blue tits we've got robin um, and then we've got cardinals and all sorts of things which um, we don't see here but you know what they, they're good they're good for a Christmas card or for any greeting card so this is the other piece that I was talking about that I cut up so everybody had um, so this was cut into six pieces basically so cut in half here and then one two three pieces so everybody had well there'll be two people who had sort of the same backgrounds um, so there was that, and then on the back side of them, we've got uh, stripes, we've got diamonds with some dots in, we've got more little, um, I don't know what these are, these are obviously seed heads of some sort, with little birds sitting on the top. We've got one that looks like bark, um, pool party with dots, which looks a bit like snow, and then this little one, I don't know if you can see too well, it looks like um, birds have been leaving marks in the snow. So that was the paper that we used. And I'm guessing you probably want to see the cards that I took with me this morning. So as I said, there were three. Um, so there's the usual let's throw everything at it card, as I like to call it. And it's basically everything that was in the kit was used. So we have the, the background paper with the little birds on. So this one has two birds here. Uh, the birthday wishes, that actually came from a stamp set called Everyday Greetings, which is an online only um, stamp set. Um, and should, it's worth worth noting that these images here are shown at 90%, so the actual stamps are slightly larger. As you can see, and you can see the ones that have been used quite a bit so far. But they, they all get good, be, be used well and truly. Um, and the reason I took this rather than using the um, sentiments from the Winterly Treetops, which is the one that has all the birds and things in, is that... I always know wherever I go when I'm doing a class, someone wants to make a birthday card. So I have to take a birthday greeting. So we've got birthday wishes. Um, you could do, and there's all sorts of things here. You've got a birthday which um, has, a, has a more, uh, is capitals, and you have one that's sort of fancy. Um, so, you, and you can mix and match and make your own sentiment up with this one. So the Everyday Greetings, I think, is really one of those that you can um, use all the time. Because I say, it's anniversary birthday, you've got a big day, so that could be a wedding or a big birthday. Uh, obviously, congratulations, uh, anniversary again. Um, and they've got on your and sending. So there's lots of things that you can do use this for. So I stamped the birthday and the wishes separately uh, onto one piece of paper and then I actually just sort of fussy cut around them and also fussy cut around the bird. Um, so then you've got your layer of paper, took out the centre from this die cut, glued that on together and then added the, fa uh, the flower, the bird going nuts here uh, and then obviously the birthday wishes that these two and that are um, popped up on dimensionals simply uh, use the strip of paper for the inside and then for the envelope I, I stamped the bird on the front but then I actually also stamped um, this where is it here this one except I stamped it upside down I don't think it really matters uh, I haven't colored either of these um, I didn't want to colour this because I knew it would show right through here. Uh, I can colour, could could have, I should say, coloured the bird here. Um, so long as I put something inside to stop the the, um, the alcohol marker bleeding right through. But I, I didn't. So that was the first card. Second card 
um, is slightly simpler in that again I popped out the center piece uh, this is the reverse side of the, the, that piece of paper and then I simply stamped hello um, cut it down to the size that I wanted and I just used a marker so I've used a garden green marker to put the dots on and then draw the lines and then very simply added the bird in the corner of the sentiment and again there's a strip of paper on the inside and the envelope has been stamped with that bird um, these little pearls that you might now be able to make out these are quite tiny um, are in fact the they're called iridescent pearls um, they come in a pack of 150 and they were both three mil and four mil sizes so you can um so that will be the four mil there and that will be the three mil so when you see them on there you can tell the tell the difference so that was the second card the third one was really just to show people that they shouldn't simply throw away the middle from that die cut and it can be used to create a card and that's what I did with this. So it's, it's very simple. So it's simply the middle from that die cut. So this piece here, once I've popped it out, is, is that bit. I stamped the birthday wishes direct to it. So I've used peak and pie on peak, um, not peak and pie, uh, copper clay on copper clay. Again, use the reverse of the paper rather than the um, the one with the birds on, just to keep it sort of simple. And then uh, again, fussy cut the bird, added it. So we've got dimensionals underneath this, dimensionals under that, and then some pearls again. And on the inside, again, another piece of paper. So those were the three cards that I took with me and bring back bits of my kit now. So we've got this, 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 that, that, and we've got base card and also the white. So we've got those pieces. Okay, so um, I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do, but I'm gonna quickly pop this out. I did find um, that with my stamp and cut and emboss machine, I did run this through twice, so forwards and then back again. And it gave me a, a much um, sharper cut. Some of the others I was finding if I just ran it through once, um, and it could just simply be my plates because they're quite old and they're a bit bent. Um, but they were, it, some of the little bits were not quite releasing very well, so I thought if I just do it forwards and backwards, then it should make life a bit simpler. Now you'll see that the paper is actually four inches by six inches, so it is literally um, a sixth of the sheet. Uh, there was reason for doing that, simply because people will end up with different birds in different places. And I wanted them to be able to have the birds kind of where they wanted within reason. So you can, um, there's space to be able to move this around so that, for example, if you want that particular bird to be seen here, you've got enough card, um, paper there to be able to do that. So that would work. Um, so long as you've got enough at the back to, to be able to glue all f f this onto that tidily, it's not a problem. So if I wanted to, to like show this little this little chap here, then I could move it down so that he was he could be seen. So as I said, there was a slight method in my madness. Um, I don't, there's no way on this one that I'm going to be able to get all three in just because of the size. And then the other thing, of course, you could do is just simply cut off one, 
one of these fronds. So like for example, if I cut that frond off there, then you are able to see that particular bird. I mean, you could cut those ones off as well, but I'm not so sure because you're not going to see that much of him. So that was the reason I cut the paper like that. Um, now I can't, I was going to sort of turn the card and make a landscape one, but I think it's, well, if I did that, then you've got the feet going left and right rather than up and down, but I guess that works. So I'm gonna do that. Now I've got my base card. So I'm gonna just simply glue this to that um, she says and she realizes that she doesn't actually have any glue and left it on the other table so do I have some tape instead and the answer is no bear with me oh I do no I'll go and get my glue sorry I will be back in two seconds and I'll try and keep keep talking so that you can hear me I have not disappeared completely it's usually my dimensionals that I managed to lose in the process, not the glue, but hey. Right, let's see which one's got the most in. I think it's this one. So we're gonna go for this. Take that bit off the top there. It's obviously dried up a bit. So I don't wanna go too far into the outside edge, just in case I, where I decide to put the paper, it's only going to catch a little bit. So I am only going to put, actually on mine this time around, it's actually not going to be a problem because I'm just using the the bird feet trail. But if you were actually using the bird side, I would suggest you just put a little bit further into the inside so that you're more likely to catch the actual paper. Now, you don't, I'm not worried about the fact that these are not stuck down. Sort of adds a bit of extra dimension to it. So I do need, though, to cut the edges off. And you could do it with your trimmer or you could do it with your paper snips. It's really up to you. I'm just going to quickly do it with my paper snips. And what I tend to do is I have my, the top bit that does all the sort of the, the, the cutting at an angle and keep it very close to the actual cardstock. And by having it at an angle, it will actually cut the paper underneath slightly smaller, just a smidgen than, you, than uh, the actual top of the cardstock and then you shouldn't actually see any edges that's the theory like so but sometimes you do have to go back and trim slightly right so that's that Okay, and we're going to put that on there like that, and I'm going to just simply glue that on. I can still see, I might put it that way. Right, you can still see it. Could just run a pen over there, but I think that would be okay. So that will go on hit there like that. Now I have my birdie, so I'm going to very quickly fussy cut him out. Now it's up to you whether you just have the birds or whether you keep the fronds in as well. I quite like the fronds on this bit, on this bird, so I'm going to keep, keep them. So... So yes, there's all sorts of exciting things going on today. Of course, say the first card and a cuppa since the summer break. 
the mini catalogue went live and also the scrapbooking brochure went live. So if you haven't heard, Stampin' Up um, have released a um, scrapbooking brochure. It's uh, online only, so there's been no paper copies. Um, obviously, there is nothing to stop you from um, going online and printing your own copy of it. Um, but I've been telling customers I'm not, there's no catalogue for me to purchase to pass on. So, um, and I am not going to be printing lots and lots of copies. So if anybody wants one that they like, they would prefer to sit and actually uh, be able to curl up and actually read it, then I'm afraid you're going to have to print your own. But there are all sorts of things in it. There are kits, there are stamp sets, there's paper. Some, a couple of the scrapbooking things actually coordinate with things in the in the mini catalogue. So, and there is some new two-tone paper, which is the bit that I'm quite excited about. So, our the standard cardstock the Stampin' Up! produces has um, the ink going all the way through it. So there's no white coys. So when you cut it or you tear it, there's no white showing at all. Um, but the two-tone, um, there is a white core. So uh, you'll have one side, you'll have a darker colour. And on the other side, the lighter uh, colour of, of the same colour so because there is the um, the white core that makes it quite good for tearing and doing all sorts of things so I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that um, not being able to because that it wasn't part of the pre-order that they did for the mini catalogue we've all had to wait for it so wait and see so okay right I think I'm not uh, no I'm not gonna try it anymore because that'll just you'll be just be waiting all day okay so I've got my bird I've got my piece of white basic white to stamp my sentiment on now I am going to use the I'm going to use this sending thanks stamps i think that's the one i'm going to use but i don't really want an, a, the and much love so i'm going to use a piece of washi tape just to mask off that this is a technique i've shared on a number of occasions and it's really good if you've got if you've got a, a stamp that's got sort of fairly large sentiment and some of it you don't but especially if it's at the top or at the bottom you don't particularly want to use if you use a bit of washi tape or low tack tape or anything like that you can mask mask that off ink up and then as long as you remember to remove whatever it is that you've masked up the bit that you don't want you're fine if on the other hand you forget then you'll end up with a big blob and that's not necessarily as good. So I'm going to quickly ink that up. So that's my bit of washi tape that's got all the gunk on it, which I don't want. So I take that off and then you can see that the and much love has not been inked up. So I'm going to stamp that in the middle of here. Now the other thing I've got with me, uh, I, I did think about using it, um, is the Greetings of the Season stamp set, which is again, it's another online thing, um, stamp set, which you can, uh, there's lots of 
of Christmas sentiments here so you can make your own up again you can use different fonts so you can use happy Christmas Merry Christmas um, New Year Happy New Year all sorts of things but this also has a die set to go with it called the greetings of the season and they look like this and I'm just thinking will that fit on there it will so I'm going to use this to cut out that sentiment. And I need to bring in my little cut emboss machine. And I'm also going to need a bit of washi tape. Because I, this is the one thing that I do not want to have move around whilst I'm die cutting. Oops. So I make up my sandwich. So I've got my base plate and my clear plate. And then I'm going to add my cardstock and my die. Hopefully, that's kind of, I don't really want it central. I want it so that this, because this actually cuts a hole. Because it creates like a tag. But there's no, there's no reason why you have to use it as a tag, and I'm not using it as a tag today. So I'm just going to put that through, like so, and put that out of the way. Pop that out after I can peel it off the washing machine. Washing machine, Ugh. washi tape. So as you, as I said, you, it's got a. Um, it creates a hole that you can then put um, ribbon or whatever through, or you can hide it, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the bird to hide it. So I'm gonna glue this first to the card front, and then it's out of the way. And done. Just need to center that on the card front so top bottom left and right try and get it as central as possible like so now I'm going to put this sending thanks lightly over to the right so that there is space for the bird to sit as well so and I'm going to use dimensionals on those don't really need to go too mad so I'm just going to pop three on like so put that on here could pop it under I think that's what I'm going to do so it's under some of the fronds and then the bird is going to sit on here I think that way now I don't want to pop him up on even more dimensional simply because it's going to make it really thick for posting. Um, so he can just be glued, but I will put a little bit of dimensionals um, here and just under his tail to support it. Um, and the good, the easiest thing is to actually simply cut a bit off the surround from your dimensional sheet. So that would be his tail, at least I think that's his tail. Like so. Then I want a little bit on the frond. I probably could get many dimensional out. But I need to use up this sheet anyway, so I may as well just go ahead and do that. What else? Need a bit on there, maybe a bit. Down there. It's always as well to just double check it before you do finally stick it on because there's nothing worse than putting putting it on and then realise that actually it's it doesn't quite work. 
because you put the dimension in the wrong place. I'll put a little bit of glue on there just to hold the rest of him. I was panicking then, thinking I had to put, put the card on, put this on the card upside down. I think we're good. So he's going to go on here. So he's kind of fits around the sending and the thanks. Could have put a bit underneath there as well, by the looks of it. Pop that bit up. Can I sneak a piece under there? That is the question. Probably. Don't want to uh, ruin things by bending it up too much, but I'll just stick it on the end of my scissors. Oops. If I can get it off a finger, that is. It. Just pop that underneath there so I can't see it. Squidge it down. There we go. That will hold that in place. So that's kind of the front almost finished. So I do need to put some of these iridescent pearls on. So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool. And put some of these on the front. So as I said, there's two sizes. We've got the mini ones and the larger ones. Use the putty end just to pick up the pearls because they just simply slide off the, um, the acetate backing. I might just go a little bit nuts with this one. I've got four. Let's put another one on. What the heck? Uh, let's see. I might put it up there. Okay. So that's the front done. So what do you think? Hopefully you like that. So that's the front of the card. And then I just got the back inside to do. Now I do have the paper that I could put on there. Or I could stamp the bird. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, this is the bird. It actually is quite large. It's not as big as the one that has the two birds on, but he's fairly large. But I want the whole image on there, so I'm not going to try and like stamp him right in the corner so that a bit of him doesn't show. I will put the whole thing on. And whilst I'm doing that, I think I will stamp the uh, envelope as well. So that's going to go roughly there, like that, so let that dry for two ticks, and then the envelope, Ooh, that's one juicy ink pad, but anyway, there we go, put another bird on there so I don't end up dropping it on something and close the pad, of course. Okay, so that's my envelope done. And then I'm going to add that to the inside of the card. Like so. Again, put it in and have it centred. So that's that one done. So I think that would make a really, I mean, you could use birthday and it makes a really nice masculine card as well. Um, as well as being autumnal. I don't like to think of autumn just yet. I don't even like to think of Christmas just yet. But I mean, I know I, everyone certainly today is like, oh, when are we, we going to be making Christmas cards? So it's like, okay, that's going to happen soon. But anyway, so that's today's card with a sending thanks, which comes from the Winterly Treetops stamp set. And I simply used a piece of washi tape to um, mask the and much love. And you could do exactly the same thing with the thinking of you. Um, if you don't, if you don't like the always on there. 
and I'm not quite sure a friend like you brings me happiness. I think that's okay as it is, but it's quite a large sentiment. So for a card front, it's, it's nice to have something a bit smaller. Anyway, so that's today's card. And then these three are the cards that went to Card in a Cup of this morning. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. Uh, next week will be a stamping and creating week. There's no reason why it shouldn't be on because uh, the scaffolding's gone now. Um, so, and there's only one bit of noisy work still to be done and that's to have the glass panes put back in the veranda. Um, so we should be good to go for, virtual, um, for stamping and creating next week, which will be good. In the meantime, um, obviously I will put these up on um, Facebook so you can see the cards and um, the, the video will get put onto YouTube too. Uh, if you don't have a demonstrator and would like a copy of the new mini catalog, um, just drop me a quick message and, uh, and obviously I'll need your name and address so I can actually pop it in the post. Uh, and that's only to people in the UK, just so you know, I can't send them to the States or to France, Germany or anything like that. So it's, it's purely um, UK based people who don't have a current demonstrator. Uh, so in the meantime, have a good week and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.